So my name is Patricia Tobin. I am an executive MBA class of 2019. Um, I'm currently in the outside world, uh, the Chief Operating Officer of Balance Accountable Care Network, and that's uh, an ACO, it's a healthcare entity um, that contracts with Medicare. So I live in Brooklyn, New York. Take the train up, take an Uber to the hotel, which is our you know, second home away from home. Prepare to be up early the next morning. Classes start either at nine or at eight. Jason pointed out, you don't need any math to solve the case. You just have to realize they want FDA bonus more than I, so they should get it all. And the only question is how much should I get paid? As much as possible, at least now. This three-day weekend, we have uh, our negotiation clause where we're negotiating the purchase of a gas station. And it's this unique concept of just expansion of the pie in a way that's, you know, ethical, um, respectful of the other party, and more driven to a long-term relationship, not just like a short-term gain. So, but what I don't know is how much I think when you visit a lot of the places that have sort of focused programs in whatever it is that you're looking to do, um, you have to go and get a sense of what the community is like. And I'm really like driven by my instinct and my gut and my feelings. Um, and I came here and I, it felt like home immediately. You know, it's extremely favorable, the LM curve I move out here, right? If it's less favorable, then the LM curve for the combined entity you have Professor to Peter Schott, he is our macroeconomics professor. It's introduction to macroeconomics, how sort of the world functions, how everything affects everything, and what that trickle-down effect is of something that you think might be completely unrelated, but economically there's a connection. At the level that I'm currently at, I really wanted to have a more formal sort of education and background um, in order to just be more value-add. Um, and Yale was the place for me. In addition to just the regular academic curriculum, there is someone specifically focused on the added value workshops. Some of the subject areas have been time management, uh, EQ. Are we supposed to be forming a relationship with multiple search firms, or is it really like I have to just marry one of you as opposed to dating all of you? <laughs> um, we had a really yeah, great workshop uh, for career development, um, and they brought in some executive search officers from, I think, two of the four top ser executive search firms to really give us an understanding of how we can best engage with them. The networking aspect of some of these side sort of things that you don't immediately see as part of the curriculum are even of more importance. I know that I've made some great connections. I think that at this level it's even more interesting because our peers are already leaders in the fields. Um, so it's not necessarily just about getting that next job, but it's who you're going to do business with, who can help mentor you in a specific area. You know, these are just also your resources. I'm seeing sort of ideas come together and I'm seeing people collaborating and so much I think is going on, like I see it happening organically. And so the opportunity to really do that I think is wonderful.